We are shivers. What week are we? Four. Week four. <laughs> uh, learn to dance um, solo jazz in Charleston, Martin Brook. So this week we started off with our warm-up video, which you can find on YouTube. I put that up. Um, and then we did another exercise where we're looking at rhythms. So we looked at single, twos, like doubles, um, and then we did a kickball change, and then we did triple steps. So we're doing singles, and then we did twos, and then we did the kickball change, kickball change, turn, kickball change, turn, kickball change, turn, kickball change, turn. So remember to do that pivot and that direction and it will help you achieve that. <laughs> and then we did triple steps. And then we repeated that set of four. And over the course of music, if you do four sets of eight, and you can normally hear it in the music when it changes, then change the, what you're doing, we did, we repeated that. Then, the moves we did, we did skates. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then, we did fall off the log into skates. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We sped it up, so we worked on speeding up our fall off the log because we were finding when we're going at a nice pace, we can make a nice and big log. But when the music gets fast, keep it in your little zone. Try not to kick too far out and keep it all underneath you at all times, and that means you can dance faster. Okay, I'm not freak out. <laughs> Next, we did the lock turn. Great for ending um, on a piece of music at the end when you want to go, yes, you go, great finish. Then, you all actually loved doing Shirley George's. <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you can pivot. Five, wait on the left. Five, six, seven. 